It has been a long time since I have been in here. Look at this. This is way too much work. <laughs> now I really want to get started here with this part of the lake over here and go continue all the way that way. There's a huge area over there to fill up. I would like to accomplish that, but we've got a huge problem and it is these guys. They are all over the place. They keep pushing me into the lava. And so we've got to resolve this situation first. Um, this guy was what I planned to do to, to do like problem solve that. But um, he has not been really actually, I think it's she, is that Amanda up there? I think that's Amanda still. I need to have a lot more of these guys. Sorry, Amanda, sweetie, your performance is just not cutting it. Welcome to my creative test world. As you can see, I'm uh, quite the creative type. Well, there's a first time for everything. So right now I'm gonna test what we can do with iron golems uh, to see how we can take care of these magmas. Cause Amanda was just floating over some lava and what would happen is all these magmas would just, would just cuddle up and say, we love you, Amanda, instead of dying. I've come up with something I think might work. Hopefully it works in the nether. What the? Is this? Is this because of crate mod? What are all these pumpkins? Okay, well, I'm just gonna do the normal one. Actually, does that change the face of the? No, that wouldn't because they don't have a pumpkin. They don't actually have a pumpkin head. Okay, I'm still gonna try it out. Uh, it doesn't even work. It doesn't even work, so, okay. Scrap that. So I'm thinking something like this. Really simple. You just put a cactus down, and then uh, there's the iron golem up there. And I think if you set it up this way, I think this is the way that they don't get out. And because if, if you have this attached right there, then they can't even turn into an iron golem. You have to have them all separate and stuff. But then I put this guy down here because I thought, okay, line of sight, right? This should be the most amount of line of sight while keeping the iron golem up there. I, I wonder, I think fence post could work better. Um, so I could get some like uh, nether uh, something, uh, wood, you know, nether wood. So let's just try this out. Uh, uh oh, that did not work. Let's see what's the command to kill. I gotta put this out of misery. Uh, kill, uh, um, not me. Oh, I. <laughs> This was not supposed to be a tutorial on how to kill iron golems. Oh, I don't have a regular bucket, dang it. Uh, but it was a tutorial on how to kill yourself in creative mode with the command. That's what this tutorial was about. Okay, we're gonna try something more like this, like a stone slab. Okay, there we go. Can you get out? I, I don't think, I don't think they can get out of that. I know it looks like they can. Like it looks like they could just walk through, but I, I really doubt it. So, okay. Let's do this. Let's get ourselves a magma. So I'm gonna put one just close. Okay, that's good. A little guy. Okay, he can't get out. And I know that because he would have tried to by now. Okay, let's try a couple more. Let's see, okay. Yeah, okay, I think I think he's too far down. Cause I, I don't want him to actually touch these guys as much because then there's a chance that he can get damaged. You see, like that guy was like, whoa. Okay, cactus worked though. The cactus worked. That was great. Okay, let's see if they jump towards him. Okay, they can't see him. Okay, round two, round two. So I raised this guy much higher up here. Uh, now, just, uh, I, <laughs> this is if this plan doesn't work. Uh, another proof of concept, which I think is foolproof. I think, D don't quote me on it, I think it is. Okay, we, we see if this guy can get out. Okay, and I put these fence posts here to test this. I think it does the same thing, but there's a little bit of better like, line of sight. You see how it's like harder for me to see him through that and, and then there's there's that right there. Let's try with these magma, magma cubes. Let's see, do they even see him? Okay, I see one kind of sees him. Okay, one sees him there too. Yep, that's good. Okay, they're not quite reaching. And they're, okay, I was like, and they're stuck. Okay, that's good. That big guy didn't even reach him. Now, I think there's a possibility, but I think it's slim enough. Now, we have this issue, these guys splitting up. I'm gonna try the, the last idea, which is that we just plant uh, a, lot, a lot of cactuses. Okay, hopefully, I gotta set up a cactus farm. That's what I have to do. Okay, now it's time for the test of how far away can a magma uh, see this guy, okay? So, we're just gonna place him around, see how how good we're doing. There's a close one, there's a far one. Okay, most of these guys went in there. Okay, the last thing that I wanted to see while these guys were all dying here 
is I wanted to see if we drop them down, you know, because I want them to get all broken up and stuff. But uh, maybe, uh, oh, actually, maybe we do this. Maybe we have just a small area. I've always tried this, and it just has always failed. But I, I'm always curious because if we get a small enough space, uh, we could drop down these guys. Any of the small guys can kind of like max out the the mob cap. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. So let's just see what happens if I just throw a bunch of these guys in here. All right, let's just see what happens. I'm gonna just I'm just gonna time lapse this. Okay, perfect, perfect. I, I think that's as perfect as we can get it, actually. Look at that. I think they cannot get out of there with too high. I think even if they're jumping on each other, I don't think that works that way. I don't think they get a jump from off of each other's head. Okay, so that should max out the mob cap. And what we wanna do is we wanna put these stations like relatively around us uh, just to get most of them out of the way. And then they should protect me pretty well. So I guess I'm gonna need to get cactus, iron, and of course, some name tags. Now, in order to get started, we gotta do something really important, and um, that's get iron. Now, as you can see, I have deconstructed the iron farm. I tried making something new, and I'm actually gonna change this design, because I have a much better design. I've actually been practicing with the crate mod a little bit. Now, this has got to produce a bunch of iron so I can make a ton of iron golems. So before we get removing on the lava, we really have to get this figured out first. Gravel plant. And with how much gravel we have here, it should produce a bunch of iron nuggets and then we can just process it in the plant. I might even do all the washing down here on the way to just make things even faster. This should work, I hope. And we have ourselves an iron farm. Now, um, I guess the presentation is not it's not that good, because everything's all smushed up against this side. Big blocky thing, but it kind of works. It works for the space, and I have lots of space over here to do whatever I want with, so we'll do. We'll fix that. Now, the thing I wanted to show you, look at this. The vault, isn't this kind of cool? Like a cool design thing you can do in Create Mod? You can go like this, bump, and bump, yeah. Now, this doesn't have any iron ingots uh, going into it yet, okay? Uh, but. We have that all set up. We wired it all down there, so there's a big old wash plant underneath the ground. So the gravel shoots down here, comes this way, gets washed by this big fan, and look at all that. So now, it's time to finally get this thing to release, and what we gotta do is just put that right there. See, boom, boom, boom. So currently I have this set to 32. I'm going to bring that down to 10, something like that. Um, what I want to do is just get the max amount that I can get. Um, oh, that was cobblestone. Um, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, a wind. A wind. See, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to expedite this process really quick. Because what... That this is not supposed to be much storage at all. This isn't really going to store anything. All right, let's see what we've got from this thing so far. 49. 49 ingots, that's good. Okay, so that's just for me like waiting around here. So this is, this is AFK-able. So now that we got this thing set up, let's go AFK. Okay, we have done a little bit of AFK in the little AFK hole right there. I, I don't really know what I was going for there. And we have iron, we have iron. Now, problem is, this thing is not producing enough iron for us to uh, get all the iron golems that we need. Um, which, which is a problem, and you know what? I know exactly why. We have a bottleneck right here. Now, I have reconstructed this. Basically, what's going on is, uh, this is coming out like, you know, one at a time, but it, this isn't the, uh, I was thinking that it was the speed of these, but no, these can actually go a lot faster. It's actually the amount of cobblestone that we are putting into the system. This vault isn't really carrying anything. So I think maybe somewhere right here, we'll build a cobble plant, kind of like the, the gravel plant. And uh, we have another blaring problem, like a huge, huge problem, okay? We're running out of resources. We need a lot more of these, okay? And then we need more of these. What I'm gonna do is create a contraption that just does so much cobblestone, so much, but we want it to be really quickly transferred into the into the gravel, but like one item vault, I guess we could take some more out of the, the other farm. As you can see, I have no andesite or uh, andesite uh, 
Alloy, andesite alloy. That's what I'm missing. So uh, let's start mining. I overdid it a little bit, especially with how I'm going to change this. I realized that drills are not the best way to do this. There's, in fact, a couple of little hacks uh, in in the Create Mod. So I'm going to be using something by a YouTuber called Trobian. Um, and this it's titled The Strongest Cobblestone Far Minecraft Create Mod 5.1. Uh, you know, something like that. He did this 11 months ago, and I'm still playing on that version. So basically... It, it's supposed to like glitch things out a little bit and use lava and water and, and like basically go like side to side a bunch. And then it should produce tons and tons and tons of cobblestone. I think that I still have enough resources to do what I'm gonna do. And then I'll just have to use those drills for something else, I guess. And if you wanna see on a, a tutorial on how to do this, uh, go to Triobian's channel, watch his tutorial. I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna show a time lapse of me building it. Check it out, we've got ourselves a cobble plant. And look, it's casually vomiting. I think I might just leave this as an open door because it's kind of interesting to, to look at what's going on in there. But let me take you on a tour. And if you haven't uh, been able to guess, um, I don't even know what this plant is either. So don't don't ask me, but I just thought, oh, well, I'll have a plant that's like hanging down and uh, I like it. It's, it's fun. I was almost thinking like, I don't know, something kind of viney, you know, that that's got lots of, you know, little things that hang out outside the pot. Anyway, plant, cobble plant, gravel plant. So inside, this is the final creation. And, and you might be able to see in the time lapse, like it was a little bit choppy. I ended up pressing pause and then resume like a couple times. And then sometimes I forgot to press pause and then resume. So hopefully it turned into an okay time lapse. But uh, if you look here, it's working really good. That is creating cobble and it's going into this vault. Um, and then it comes out this way which I've actually uh, locked up for a little bit because I wanted to get uh, this thing kind of filled up. But look at that, it, it just goes and goes and goes in here. Let me uh, put it to 64 stacks. Uh, that'll help that out. Uh, and, and that's just been like constantly, constantly running. I'm gonna show you what's happening next over here because I changed the inside of the gravel plant as well. So check this out. All of that cobblestone comes up through the back of the building and goes into these little crushers and becomes gravel. Oh, I just ate some of that. And it goes into the vault. Now, I found a really cool thing with this vault. Uh, if, if I do 14, that's the perfect amount to keep this thing running without having any like extra stacks just hanging out down here. It'll just constantly run. So I'm gonna switch that on and it's got plenty in there, it's got, tw it's 26% full. I don't even know how much that is, but that's a pretty big vault. Okay, so let's check this out. You See that? I mean, that's just like every so often, it'll just throw in a bunch, right? It's the coolest thing ever. So it does a whole batch. Um, I think it's running as efficiently as it can. 
Um, we'll see. I mean, I think with that 14, I'm not losing any stacks of gravel. And that's what I'm really concerned about is losing stacks of gravel. But look at this, this is just from running. So uh, just as I turn this on, uh, before I started this clip, this is how much has come into the system. So I think we're in a pretty dang good place. Another really funny thing happened. You know how I said I need cactus? Well, okay, so I started this over here, right? Started that over here. I Okay, I don't know. I think this ended up in an episode, but I definitely forgot about this. Um, when I I looked for cactus in my chest, and I was like, oh, there's, there's cactus down there. Uh, and then I went into here to get something, and I noticed something quite peculiar. Um, I already made a, like a totally normal cactus farm. And, and this thing, I mean, this is like full all the way. So, um, I think we're fine, uh, on the cactus. So now that I have my iron farm and I have all the cactus I need, all that I need to do is do a bunch of AFK and then we're going to have all the iron golems that we need. I think that will do. As you can see, I am pretty well stacked up now, which uh, I'm really best uh, stacked for 64. I have a, I have a stack of golems here, uh, which you really just need four stacks of iron and one stack of ca carved pumpkin. I have some extra stuff if I need to heal up a guy or, or switch him out or something like that. And then I've got all the things I need for this and tons of cactus. The only thing that I am missing is sand that I realized, because I thought you could put this on gravel, which was gonna make this easier, but you you can't do that. I don't I don't know why I thought that. But there is a good thing, in, uh, if the spoilers, it was in my search bar. If you take sand and you put it through the crush wheel, then it'll have uh, most, I think that's 75%, ch well, um, 85% chance there that sand will come out on the other end. So I'm gonna be able to just stack up a bunch of sand here really quick if I just go over, take my gravel out and go go throw it in the, the crusher here. So that's what I'm gonna go do. In fact, I wanted to show you this. I got this thing tuned up even quicker and all I needed to do was put in another crusher in here. You see, it just shaves your face off when you come in. Yeah, so I, I added some more uh, crushing wheels in here and, and that is doing a, a fantastic job at keeping this thing filled with gravel. So this is only temporary, okay? And I think I got that spin in the right way. Uh, just to just to set this up right here, I mean, this is just how easy it is to set these things up. It, ta it does take a little bit of weird, like, okay, is this spinning the right direction, especially when it's going so fast? I mean, that, um, that looks like it's spinning all sorts of ways. Uh, but we go like this, and then, haircut. Uh, we should just be able to get on top there and, and throw some of this in so it doesn't get into any of our systems. That That's all the hassle I wanted to avoid. So if I just throw that over there, yes, good, good, good. I wanna get far enough away so I'm not picking it up. Let's see what's coming out. Yes, sand, sand, sand. Okay, awesome, and a little bit of clay that I don't need. Oh no, it all turns into sand. It turns into 100% sand and sometimes it drops other stuff. Okay, I'm stacked up. This took so many hours <laughs> and so many weeks. Well, <laughs> let's get started. Okay, so the first one has gotta be uh, right here, I think, because this is right near my entrance and I always get just hacked and slashed right here. Oh, uh, 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 help. Uh, okay, they can't get me if I'm up here. So one, two, three, four, and then uh, <laughs> my stuff is down in there. All right, boom, there we go. We've got one in. So we have number one, number two, number three, and number 14. I've got a whole fleet out here. There's so many. Now I do have a lot more of these to make, obviously. Uh, look at all that, look at that stack right there. One of these Amandas fell down, and yes, <laughs> that's what I've named them. Uh, if you can see, get closer. <sighs> Amanda 2.0, there we go. So yeah, I've got a lot more to make here, uh, but I was thinking this is a good start because I don't really wanna just fill this whole area with them because I still need to go out there. So I'm gonna just 
plop them down every now and then, uh, kind of like maybe in the grid pattern, like this guy a little bit sometimes. There's not many magmas, and if they are, they're already getting, you know, they're spawning far enough away from me, and then they get caught up with, with uh, the Amandas over here. I don't really know what happened to Amanda, number one. The, the, the block, it just broke. It just broke. It's a good thing Amanda number one is gone because this this person needs to have all the attention. Get all those magmas in there. So that's just, you know, part of the part of the price of doing business. Well, it wouldn't truly be a lava removal episode if we didn't remove some lava, would it? Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye.